Hello buddies, welcome back to my channel. Today, oh, I just, I, I already started messing up. Today we have a Fat Fit Fun unboxing for the winter 2021 box. Um, so welcome, welcome. Thank you for, for coming back to my channel or for coming to my channel if it's your first time. Uh, my name is Miss March, I talk about a little bit of fat fun and makeup and Sephora sales and things like that. Today I'm kind of rocking, uh, I feel like a Gen Z because I've been rocking for the past two days like a middle part, which I did uh, as a youngster. Um, and I'm kind of digging it for, for certain looks. Um, I'm also wearing my uh, Champagne Problems t-shirt because, uh, you know, we're still on Taylor's version, Red Taylor's version week. Um, so, you know, why not? Um, so yeah, so let's get started with this box. Um, if you looked at my, if, or if you watched my um, Buyer Beware, which is where I actually talk about the spoilers and what I think, um, I was not super excited about this box. And we'll see if I continue to not be super excited or if there's anything in there that will make me a bit happier. Um, I love my Buyer Beware uh, like videos because I get so much controversy in there. Um, for example, like when I talk about unhide blankets, but anyway, I'll, I'll go through some of the things that people said and whether I think that's a good argument or not as we go through the products. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get started. Um, I have a little booklet here so that we can look at the, I think do they still have them this way. If not, I might need to go get my phone. Um, no, I don't think they do because remember before you would have like a list of all the products, but I don't think that's there anymore. Yeah, that is not there anymore. Anyway, hopefully we will do it uh, from memory and if not, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'll go get my phone, we'll see. But we are going to start with um, customization number one. And actually, you know what? I will go get my phone because I, I'm never going to remember. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have my phone, so I found a place with all the spoilers so I can remember what they had. I'll probably, usually I put them somewhere um, on the screen, so I'll try to do that as well, depending on how much time I have to edit uh, this week. But yes, let's get started. So for customization number one, you could get the, um, there were two Sunday Riley products. One was the A+, Plus. unfortunately that one um, we couldn't get in Canada because it's not sold in Canada. Um, probably it is because of the amount of retinol that it has is not compliant with what Canadian law allows for cosmetics to have. Um, so we, in Canada, there was the Luna Sleeping Oil, um, which I loved because, you know, I, I use retinol, um, almost every day and I'm always happy to try new things. Um, but a lot of people talk about scent. And I was concerned because, as you know, I'm very, very sensitive to uh, to scents, so I didn't decide to not go with that one. Um, we then had the unhide little marshmallow blanket, which, as I said, it's it's the third box that we've had it. Now people love them, and I totally get it. Like they're nice blankets. I have some too. Um, I have one, not some. I have one. Um, but to me, it felt a little bit lazy. It felt like they knew that this was something easy that people would want or would like, so they would just put it in the box. And again, to quote Taylor, or semi-quote Taylor, I get older, but my boxes stay the same. Um, so yeah, I, <laughs> I um, that felt a little bit like, I call it lazy. I think it's just a, like an easy way where they don't, they don't have to put a lot of effort into thinking what could be a good product. They could just go with it. Um, and yeah, I, I was not a fan, but I know that a lot of people were, and if that's your case, then that's awesome. Um, I know that there's been a supply chain issues and we're going to talk more when we talk about customization number six. Uh, but in this case, I don't think that this was, um, a supply chain issue. And the main reason I don't think it was is because I saw the, the, the survey that went last year and it already had the unhide in there. So I think it was just like they knew that this was an easy thing that they could just throw in there and, and, and satisfy people without having to put too, too much effort into it. So, um, but again, if you love it, if you like it, as I like to say, your kilometrage may vary. Um, you may, 
you, you you may be happy to have another one and I'm so happy for you if that's the case. But for me, I would I, I like to see new things. Um, let's go to what next, what is next there? There was the Mark & Graham uh, wine opener. I said in my buyer beware that I thought this was a really great thing. It doesn't work for me because I don't drink wine. Uh, but if you do drink wine, I thought like this was a really good one and I liked, I liked it. Um, there was the travel blanket, another blanket, but <laughs> um, I have travel blankets from flights that I've taken where like they've given me one. So like there's not too much of a point, but now that we're moving more towards airlines that won't give you blankets for longer flights, it might be a good thing to have if you, um, if you're not, uh, if you don't have one, but what I chose was the Herschel Mica tote. Let me see if I can pull it out. Over here now. When we, um, when I got, when I saw the spoilers, um, and in my buyer beware video, I mentioned that uh, I thought the color was a bit off for winter. Um, but since then, I realized that the way they show it on the website is not necessarily accurate. So this is the color. See, it's more like um, it looked like a really on the website it looked like a very pale and light pink color but while this is still pretty pale um it has more of like a wintry or, or a fall feel um i think it's because it's more muted than, than than what i expected it to be so um i will let my words on that um it's a good size i have to say um and then inside it's like this um and it is supposed to be uh, waterproof. So that's really nice because uh, we had our first little bit of snow this week where I live, so it's nice. Uh, so I'm happy with this one. It's a good size. It's nice for travel. It's nice for when I have to carry my laptop and you know, those kinds of things. And uh, the, the color is not what I was expecting. Like I saw afterwards when I saw some videos of people with people that had it, um, that the color was not the same as it was shown on the website. And I think that's like, that's a bit on them that they didn't properly showcase the color. But anyway, this is customization number one. For customization number two, we had, sorry, I'm sorry I had to move the phone, but they don't include it anymore on the, um, on the little thing, on the little booklet. So the first one were the Glamnetic Virgo Magnetic Eyelashes. Um, I have magnetic eyelashes here. I don't, I don't do a ton of um, fake lashes because they tend to not stay on my eyes. Uh, so, uh, but that looked good. Um, there was the Our Place Lunchbook with Clips. There was, this was a throwback. I was like, nah, I don't like this. There was the uh, Silk Latar four piece silicone utensil set. Um, this one was okay, but I did mention that it was not um, uh, dishwasher, dishwasher safe, which to me just makes it like uh, an absolute no. Uh, but if you don't mind doing the things by hand, then yeah, like definitely it could work. There was a little Pulitzer ceramic max set of two that we got last winter. I have them, they're cute. Uh, and then there was the there was also the Soya and Kyo woven uh, woven scarf again. Um, I have that one from fall of 2020. So yeah, more throwbacks. Um, there was the oh my god, this was a long category. <laughs> there was a bright angle elixir olive oil bottle. I looked at this because I had been looking at an oil bottle like that, but there was something too hexa like hexagonal about this one that I didn't like. <laughs> It was the shape, I just didn't like it. Uh, and then there was a short stories black and white bowl set. My god, this is gonna be a lot to edit. Um, I wasn't interested. There was a set of three candles. Um, I, I, I'm very sensitive to scents, so candles are never a good choice for me. So I am going with um, this over here which are the, if I can get back to that. Oh my God, that kind of was up. The Glow by Day Pacific Dream Duo set of um, reversible bonnets. So I've been eyeing bonnets for a long time. Now we know that bonnets, um, they're more popular within, you know, uh, the African American community and the, um, the, the natural hair community. Ah, I made a mess. Of course I dropped something. So it's two bonnets. Um, but I had been reading a lot about it and, and a lot of, you know, 
even though I don't want my hair curly. Ever since I cut my hair, I've been struggling on how to keep it like style at night. Um, so I thought this would be a good thing to try to have all my hair all in sort of like one place. <laughs> um the other thing is i'm trying to be very gentle with my hair because i've been using more heat because the hair is shorter and i need more heat to style it um so i've been trying to be gentle on my hair so um the bonnets are supposed to reduce um friction and frizz and things like that so i'm excited to try them and there are both there's two of them and they're both reversible so this is one and then like inside it's pink and then the other one is like this turquoise on the outside and then a flower-ish uh, design or tropical design. Um, I also really liked that A, they were choosing a product that uh, black sub subscribers could uh, enjoy or that was mainly aimed to, to, not mainly aimed, I guess that's not the word that I wanna say, um, but it's something that, you know, we we don't see usually we don't usually see in boxes because they tend to be catered to white people <laughs> um and it was nice to see that they were definitely considering other people who subscribe to the box and who whose needs may be different from what they usually consider their standard they've been doing that uh, for a while now if you see like they're having more variety in terms of when they offer shampoos or, or hair creams or curl creams. So I'm really happy that they're doing that. Um, and also that this is a black owned company because if we are going to be doing something um, or offering a product that really came from the black community, um, we should be looking at uh, black owned businesses and not uh, someone who just decided to do bonnets. So I um, was really happy to, to see this and I'm really excited to, to have them. And I'll, I'll, I'll test them out. Okay, customization number three. If we can get there. Okay. We have the Coral One Pound Ankle Wrist Weight. I, these were like, I remember this were like all the way to when I was like, when I was a child. And I was never able to see what the use of this was. So um, this was a no for me. Um, I like If you give me like a little dumbbell or something like this, I can work with it. But this, I, I don't see much of the use, but again, the kilometrage may vary. You may have a good use for it. Um, there was the True Plus Lushes Lucky Glow Palette. So this was a face palette. I'm doing okay on makeup. And also, I don't love the brands that we have for makeup. I don't know, just because I don't know it, not because I don't think it's good. It's just like, I'd rather go with brands that I know. There was the Mason Tops Mason Jar Cocktail Shaker Kit. I thought it was really cute, although it looks very summery, um, just because like it's the um, the turquoise of Mason Top and in. But I, it, it was a bit of a different cocktail shaker, so I thought that was an interesting thing. Um, and with the holidays, that may be useful. Um, again, because I don't drink alcohol, not a lot of use for me, but it was cute. Uh, there was the Dr. Brand Skincare Collagen Serum, um, the Bite Beauty Power Move Hydrating Soft Matte Lipstick in Sugar Buns. Again, lipstick, that was my get. Um, from a previous box, there was a Kate Spade uh, Rice and Shine Stud earrings these were cute and i looked at them because i i actually skipped that box since I, earlier this year but i wasn't sold and i have a lot of earrings so i went with the oops michael kors beanie with palm i would say pom pom no not just palm um okay and it's just like a just a plain beanie it's gray it has the michael kors logo do I want to put it on? Okay, I'm gonna put it on and then like hopefully like my hair will not be too messed up. Huh. Anyway, I like hats. I, um, oh my God. This like with my hair like this and the hat, I feel like very early 2000s. But anyway, I, I, I live in Montreal, Canada. It gets really cold here. I have a lot of beanies and hats because it gets cold. So this looked like a good option for me. Um, and it's cute. I look cute. I think it's cute. Okay. Hopefully the hair will not... Ooh! Ooh! There we go. Okay. So, another one. So we are customization number three. 
And this is where things started to go downhill for me. Uh, and you may be wondering, why didn't you just skip this box? And that's a good question, and I, could, I do not have the answer for you. Um, so for customization number four, we had three Briogeo products that we could choose from. So the Briogeo, Scalp Revival, Charcoal, and Tea Tree. I don't really have a lot of issues with my, my scalp, so like I don't wanna mess with that, so that was a no. And then there was a curl cream. I don't really wear my hair curly. And then a freeze and heat protectant, but I, if you've watched other videos uh, by me, um, you might know that I love the Way uh, Spray Living Conditioner that we actually got a few years ago in a box. Um, and yeah, to me, that's the best one. And I love that it's a spray, so I wasn't going to go with the cream. I just, it doesn't work for me. Um, there was the Tula, the Cold Classic Purifying Cleanser. I have to say, I got this, like, I think I got it in like my first box ever. And that shit, oh, so, uh, that shed like really lasted. Sorry, I got a text while I was doing this. Um, that shit lasted me so long. So it's such a huge bottle. Sorry for the, um, so for the swearing. Uh, so what I went with was the Way of Will Slim Dip. And I wasn't loving that it said the slim part, but it's basically just an oil. Um, a very expensive body oil. It's this one over here. Um, cause mainly cause I like oils and I use them. I do, um, I do scraping on my arms and legs a lot of times when I'm like sore or things like that. So any kind of oil helps for that. Um, I don't smell anything, which is a good sign. Cause at least even if it's, if it smells, um, and it would probably smell cause it's just natural oils. Um, it will not be something that will be that strong, um, but it has supposed to, I can't remember. I think they want to sell it like you can help you. Yeah, it's a toning oil. I don't really trust with these things, but you know, any oil will help me for when like I do like scraping on, like I do scraping on my arms and I'm getting my legs when I am sore or anything like that. So, um, I'll use it for that. So, you know, adjust okay. Um, customization number, ah! <laughs> okay. Customization number five, we could choose between the Vaham Tees recovery sampler. Um, I thought this was a good one. It, it wouldn't necessarily work for me because I am very picky with my tea. So it wouldn't work for me, but I thought it was a good one. And if you're someone who likes tea and it's, less picky than I am, then that might actually uh, work for you. I just, um, I don't necessarily like spices and this is all very spiced. Those are, those, these are all spiced teas, so it just wouldn't work for me. But if you're someone who likes that, um, that might be a great thing. There was the Epere Milk Frother and I said on the on the buyer beware, I would have totally gotten this if I didn't already have one, but I do. So, um, but if not, I thought this was a great idea. There was a Vitamask Cranberry and Apple Sheet Mask set. My face is small, so like, sheet masks just like don't, don't fit properly. Um, so I went with something that I think is probably something that was in an older uh, box, but it's the Grown Alchemist, it's this one over here, the Grown Alchemist a Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary. You know, you can always use a body cream, right? So I thought something just for the for the vault, because I have a, over here, I keep the vault where I keep like all these things that I may use or may not use or, or, or like that, I'm, that I have uh, as backup. So like this will just go into the vault and we'll see. And then our last customization. Oh, sorry, for customization number five, you also had flavored floss. Um, now, for the last customization, customization number six, as you know, it's one that I don't really like. I don't like what they're doing. Um, so you can choose, there's, there's bundles of one product or two products or three products. So it was a KVD um, Go Big or Go Home Mascara. I knew that this one wasn't gonna work for me because um, I have my mascara that I really like and I tend to just gravitate towards that. Um, the Lucky Brand Solid Brush Scarf, which was a, a throwback from another box. Um, sorry, like I just keep getting texts. I should have thought I should have put this on airplane mode. <laughs> um, 
I was in like the house of the car, it was not necessarily what I wanted. Um, the summer fight is CC Me's Doom. That's also something we got in other box. The Fits, the Fits Puzzles Puzzle. Um, this looked nice, but I, I don't do puzzles. I don't have the patience for them. So it just wouldn't work for me. There was a, 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 a set of brushes that I also have. So as you can see, this was not looking like a good category for me. And then we got into the sets and I think like this is when that the supply chain issues really took place because it was ha kind of haphazard and, and, and like a lot of things from boxes that we know that were just not good. Um, so there was something that was like um, tweezers uh, and I have a cleansing gel and a, a very bad eyeliner that I got a few you know, boxes ago. Um, then there was again the um, god the eyeliner, the pedicure file, a pedicure file which was from the summer box, and then the Benkai hot chocolate bomb maker. Um, anyway, they were not as good. I ended up choosing. I don't know. I I don't know if I chose well or not to be quite honest. But I had to choose something, so I went with the um. Oh God, this is flimsy. Uh, the many moments uh, from Voish, 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 which I've had like, I, I, I like the pedicure set, so I thought oh, I could always do a many. Um, so it comes with, I think it's two sets. Yeah, two sets to do many. Um, you know, something self-care. And then the, this one, which is the uh, hot chocolate, uh, maker hot chocolate bomb maker now full disclosure when i first read this i thought oh this might be a good idea because i thought it was a kit like a set that it came with like the ingredients it doesn't it's just this um, i knew that i knew that by the time i chose this I, I promise i knew that by the time i chose this um but i didn't know when i thought i could use it for other things or other desserts but you know gotten cold here so I need more things to do at home and I don't know maybe if you know me in real life you might be getting a, a hot chocolate bomb for, for, for the holidays who knows um but I thought also I could play with my my niece and like do some stuff and, and just you know use it for different things um so I thought I would get it so all I know, as I said, I'm not super excited about this box. And I think the, the first three categories I really like. The, 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 the back three I don't like as much. Um, or the last three I don't like as much. Um, I guess we'll have to try and see, as you know, like usually those things that I say, oh, like I don't know if I'm ever going to use this and I end up using them a lot. Um, but I think for me... It was a bit lackluster and and i get that there's supply chain issues but i don't know it just it doesn't feel like that tells the entire the whole story i feel like there's more to it um and i don't know some people i know that when i did my other my other video said that you know like it was entitled like it was entitled of people to not be happy with the box and and yes it is entitled because this is a box we're paying money for um and i think you know if Fafit Fun were like was a small business, it would be one thing. But Fafit Fun is a company that has two million subscribers and who last year made a revenue of six hundred million dollars. So they're not a small, there's not a small business. And I understand that we're going through things with the supply chain. Um, but because I saw the survey last, like that went out last year to people about this box. It doesn't feel like it was affected that, that that the supply chain issues affected it that much, except for the Isaac Mizrahi slippers that the influencers got and the rest of us were not able to choose. Um, so I don't think that that necessarily is what happened with this box. I think that it's part of what happened with this box. Yes, is it part of how they gave out the spoilers? Definitely. Um, is it part maybe of some of the customization six packages? Possibly. But I think there was a bit more than that. And I don't know, maybe it is just that the box is getting a bit stale for me because this is my third year and like the novelty is gone. How, how, many, different, how many different things can they offer me throughout time, right? You know, 
Um, so yeah, so those are my thoughts. I think we'll see. Uh, people seem to like my, um, you know, my like the box a week, uh, a few weeks later, just to see whether uh, I like the products or not. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the one um, in a few weeks after I've had a chance to play around with some of the things that I got. Um, uh, yes, and that's that's all for me today. Let me know in the comments what you think, uh, what you got, what you like, what you didn't like. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again in another video. Bye.